Hey, my friends, welcome to this episode of The Automation Show. My name is Sean Tierney from The Automation School and TheAutomationBlog.com. And on this episode, we're going to unbox a brand new PLC starter kit. But before we do, let me go into uh, a little background on why we're doing this today. Now, uh, one of my goals for 2019 over at TheAutomationBlog.com is to expand our coverage. And, you know, not only ask more of you to share your stories with the 30,000 readers at the blog, but also to, you know, cover more in a, a wider variety of products than I normally cover. And, um, you know, there's a limitation there of how much I actually can go and buy and, uh, and cover myself. So I started reaching out to vendors saying, hey, can we get a sample or a demo to, uh, so we can cover it on the blog? And you've seen in the past that we've had the automation network cables, we've had the real-time automation gateways, and um, one of the vendors who uh, answered was Siemens, and they sent me over a Siemens starter kit. Now, I've contacted dozens of vendors, and most of them have not replied yet. So I don't know if they just don't use social media or if they're not able to contact me directly. But uh, in any case, um, the folks at Siemens were awesome. I have to say, not only because they knew, like I was new to Siemens, so not only did they set up a conference call to kind of run me through their PLCs, HMI, and SCADA. Um, they also invited me down to Springfield, Massachusetts to show me, give me some hands-on and show me the product line and whatnot. And I want to say a huge thank you to Jason for, for showing me the ropes of the Siemens PLCs, specifically the Siemens PLCs. And uh, I really enjoyed it, and it was a time well spent. So in any case, now they have sent me a starter kit to work with and I'm hoping over the next several uh, episodes that we'll, uh, we'll both learn how to use this together. Now if you are a Siemens expert or you have a lot of Siemens experience, I'm going to need your help. So please, any good ideas you have or tips or suggestions, please post them here on the Automation blog or over at the Automation forums. Those two sites are linked together, so same thing no matter where you post it. Um, but with that, let's go ahead and get this thing open. Now I got the overhead cam recording, so let me flip the starter kit up and let's zoom in on the label so if you want to get one of these you'll know the part number here and i'll put links to the siemens industrial mall where you can find out all the all the details okay so yeah that looks good so you can see there there's the part number 6av blah 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 it's a pretty long part number and or catalog number um and you can see it's a s7 1200 plus hmi basic starter kit Okay, and I think it comes with software and a book um, and some other stuff. So we'll have to open it up to find out. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, let me zoom out here first, though. That's a little too close for the unboxing. And I'll use my handy dandy Horizon slash Hoffman uh, razor knife. I always think it's silly that uh, I'm glad they did it, but it's kind of silly to give away a razor knife to customers. But I'm glad I did it because I use this thing all the time. So uh, kudos to them for giving those away. We'll just throw that over there for now. You can't see over there. Um, in any case, all right, so let's go uh, and see. It looks like this can toggle one way or the other. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, flip it all the way over. And what do we have in here? Some noisy packaging to keep everything safe. Looks like we have a, uh, uh, let's see, what kind of, this is an industrial Ethernet cable. Let me put that up to the camera here, see if it you guys can see that i know sometimes with the studio lights it washes stuff out okay so we get one of those okay now here we have looks like uh step seven basic software version 15.1 okay very cool that's a certificate of license okay and then now we have let me put that up there. I'm going to block my face here, but let me put this up on the overhead cam. You can see this looks like the HMI. What does it say there? Basic panel. Okay, let me put that over there. Underneath it, I don't know if that's the best place for it, but underneath it, there is a Siemens logo. I think that's the little, like, sub-micro or nano PLC. And then it says, oh, it looks like it has the all three on there, the 1200, the 1500, and whatnot. Okay. Then what do we have here? This is a CPU, S7-1200. Nice. Okay. okay. And then finally, 
what is this little guy? A little simulator. So I think it's like uh, little toggles. See if I can get that in the center of the camera there. All right. So let's uh, move this nice box over. We're actually uh, looking at putting together some uh, demos to sell, uh, you know, trainer stations to sell, working with some partners up at the automation school. And I, I like that case. It's a nice case. So let's go ahead and open the PLC first. And we could probably zoom in a little bit on this guy. Okay. So I'm excited as a programmer. I, I look at myself, you know, as a programmer, and I, I'm excited to try new software, you know, the TIA portal or step seven. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Okay, oh, it looks like it comes with a little disc here. What's on this disc? Documents, drawings, wiring. Well, that's cool. They include that right in the box. A lot of vendors don't do that. I mean, I think we saw that uh, when we did the RTA gateway, they did. But uh, in any case, that's very good. So I can't actually reach my CD-ROM, so we won't look at that right now. But uh, here it is. Whoops. <laughs> here it is. Now it's not upside down anymore. Okay, let's really zoom in here. Let's see how, how far in I can go with my Panasonic camera. Well, that looks nice, huh? Okay. Flip it up here. You can see there's the Ethernet right there. We got our relay outputs. Okay. Have to wire this into one of our trainers here. And on the top, it looks like we have 120 volt in. Look at the arrow. That's nice. Makes it obvious that it's coming in and 24 volts DC out. And then we have the uh, DC inputs and analog inputs. And it looks like a SD card slot or memory card. You see right there, it says MC. And uh, this is all new to me. Now, some of you out there have probably used a lot of these, and you're like, why are you so excited? But uh, totally new. Did I miss anything down here? No, I don't think so. Okay, so let's take a look at this side here. See if I can even go in closer. Can we get closer? Mm, I think that's as far as it'll go. I got the camera mounted to the ceiling there. Okay, so you can see the information about it, S7-1200, pot numbers, all kinds of good information there, QR code. All right, let's look at the other side here. Nothing over here. Looks like uh, possibly expansion. I think some of these modules, you can put expansions on the left, maybe communication modules or whatnot. Okay, there's the bottom. Well, there's the top. Okay, DIN rail mount, good, good, good. Put it right on one of our demos here. And uh, yeah, I'm not sure of the capabilities. You know, how much can it be expanded? Or um, I'll have to look in the book to find that all out. But uh, it's a nice little unit. I like that it's so small and it takes 120 volt in. That's great. So all right, let's put that one side. I think I'm going to have to zoom out here. And let's take a look at the HMI. Uh, before we get to the HMI, why don't we open up the, uh, let's see here, what do we got? Maybe? Is that the right place to cut it? No, no. Mm, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Hey, there it is. All right. Let me zoom in on this guy. Zoomed out a little prematurely here. Let's zoom in here. How close can we go? Uh, that's about it. All right. Got eight little toggles there. Other vendors make these as well, and they're very convenient, especially if you're learning at home. Um, plug, plug your PLC into the wall, right? And then you uh, you have your inputs, and you course for the outputs, you can just look at the indicators on the PLC. Sweet. Okay. Let's see here. Put that one side. What else do we have? Okay, we have this. Get a little organized here. Let's see what's here. Okay, we definitely have to go back out. All right, let's open this guy up. 
So I'd love to hear from you. Anybody out there using these uh, S7 1200s? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, do you like them? How easy are they to program? You know, what resources should I look at right away? Looks like this guy has another. License conditions, open source software. Not quite sure what's that, but you can see it right there. Okay. I've got a uh, document here. I'm not seeing English. Caution. Yeah, there is there is English on there. So you're, well, I can't see it in Zoom again. Take a look at this document and see what it's all about. Yep. Transferring a project will overwrite the current project. Okay. That's like almost every uh, product out there, so hopefully that's not a surprise to anybody. And uh, this is a nice fold-out. A lot of pictures. A lot of... Seems very user-friendly. Okay. So back out on that. So I'll have to read that after the show. Check that out. It looks like in the box we have these look like uh, mounting clips and a terminal block, probably for power, I'm guessing. Okay. And then here's the HMI itself. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Nice little touch panel. No, what is that? How many inches is that? Is that five or seven? No, looks like it could be six. Does it say here on the box? KTP 700, so I'm guessing it's around seven inches. All right. Got some keypads here. It's also a touch screen. Nice. Nice combo unit. See if we can zoom in on the part number here. All right, nice. And let's go what the connectivity options are. Okay, so this is a Ethernet unit. Looks like it has a USB port. I wonder if that's for program upload, download, as well as maybe um, USB sticks, memory memory sticks. I don't know. We'll have to see. Excellent. So that's a, uh, a decent starter kit here. Let's see what you get. Let's see if we can get everything into the shot here. Take a look at all of it. Okay. So there it is. I'm looking forward to powering this up, trying it out. Um, you know, I know uh, Jason was so helpful when he took me, uh, met with me down in Springfield. Um, showing me the ropes, and uh, some of the other folks over at Siemens have been great emailing over tips and tricks and things I need to do when I first start using it. So I look forward to doing that. Maybe uh, the next episode will be the first run through. I'll see if I can't figure out how to download a simple motor control uh, program. Um, you know, just a couple of rungs, see if we can get that working. But uh, just the out of the box of the starter kit is good. I mean, most. Most of these industrial automation vendors are just doing great work these days. Just They make very reliable stuff. I know this. people out there, they're like, well, I only use brand X. I only use brand Y. But it's like cars, right? You, you look on the street. There's all these great manufacturers of cars. And everybody chooses, you know, what the ones that suit their needs the most. And, uh, and I look at automation the same way. Again, anybody out there, if you have experiences, if you have, um, you know, good and bad, you know, let me know. Um, again, you can reply right here at theautomationblog.com or at the automation forums. Or you can send me an email. If you want to do it anonymously, you can send it over at news at theautomationblog.com. And I know several people have asked me, hey, Sean, when are you going to have your S7-1200 course over at the automation school? Well, <laughs> I'm not yet an expert. I just, just got it. Just opened it. First time I'm, I'm uh, well, first time I'm using it here at Insights and Automation. I did see it with Jason down in Springfield. But um, so, yeah. 
not anytime soon. However, if you are, you know, an expert on using these, I'd love to have you, uh, you know, be an instructor at the automation school, you know, put your course up there and uh, offer it to our thousands of students in over 50 countries. And, um, you know, unlike sites like uh, Udemy, we're not going to keep 50, 50 to 75% of the price at the automation school. I think uh, we haven't we haven't had a partner instructor join us yet, but I'm thinking 10 to 15% is more than enough to cover all the costs of the server and the, uh, and the uh, you know, the, the, you know, processing the, you know, the credit card company takes like 5% typically of the sales. So anybody out there, if you are an expert in industrial automation, you want to be an instructor, you want to get a camera at home and start filming lessons um, and publish them at the automation school, let me know, contact me. Um, you can contact me right over at the automation school. There's uh, I got a form over there. You can go to automationschool.com forward slash contact and just fill out a form. I'd love to have you offering your courses to our students in over 50 countries because, uh, you know, people like learning and they want to learn more. So in any case, uh, with that said, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode. I'm really thankful to the folks over at Siemens for sending this over and I can't wait to start digging into it. And I think in the next episode, we'll, we'll do our first little, uh, PLC program in the S7-1200 and uh, we'll go from there. But with that, let me see if there's any announcements. Um, I think I covered everything today. So I just want to wish you all a great week. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And um, until next time, my friends, peace.